Hi uh, everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. Uh, the video today um, is going to be about um, how to clone or swap, maybe not swap is another word, is copy, copy the immobilizer systems uh, on this ECU. Now, uh, I don't have the car with me where this uh, ECU belongs. Um, I've only been asked to if I could do uh, this uh, work. So, I've been told, and this is only what I've been told, that this ECU belongs to a Citroën C8, um, the 2.2 diesel, I believe. And uh, it's believed, according to the to the guy that brought me this issue, that uh, this issue is faulted. Okay. Apparently the car starts, but uh, it's very hard to start. When it starts, it smokes really, really bad. It's believed to be injecting too much diesel, and it's believed as well, according to to the diagnosis that's been made, that's been done that the ECU is keeping the injectors open all the time. So, I've been given, this is the original ECU from the car, I've been given this known good ECU, and I've been asked if I could copy the immobilizer from the faulty ECU, let's gonna call it like that into the good ECU and uh, that's what we're going to do uh, a little bit more information uh, the ECU in question as you can see in there by the label is a Bosch and is the EDC 15 C2 then the number underneath is the Citroen number which doesn't really matter and uh, that's the Bosch number they have different numbers as you uh, might be able to see but they are identical uh, so it's gonna go it's gonna swap these immobilizer systems uh, the first thing we're gonna do obviously is open the ECUs okay so the ECUs are now being opened uh, the chip we want to Take the data from is gonna be so this is this here the chip I've got to point the chip is this one here I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see in there try to use some light where's that one in there I don't know if it's going to be able to focus so you can have a look. Okay, I don't know if you can read the chip type, but it's uh, 5P08C3. And that's the chip we want to copy. Now, the because I have two CUs, uh, it's fair to say that I could easily remove one chip and just just swap the chips over and job done uh, but that that's not what we're going to do here uh, for the simple fact that um, I've been asked to keep both ECUs um, ready to work on the car that's believed to have the ECU faulty. So if the ECU is not faulted, then I don't know, they might want both ECUs, uh, I don't know. So basically what I need to do really is just copy the data from one of the chips from the ECU that's not going to be used again, uh, which is this ECU. This is the ECU that is not going to be used again, uh, which is the believed to be good ECU and that is the one that is believed to be faulted so what I need to do is the car 
So basically that is the car that needs to start okay and needs to run properly and is believed to be a 4 TCU. So what I need is this data from this chip to be put on this chip so both ECUs are able to run in the same engine. So I can't just swap the chips over. So we're going to copy the data and do it like that. So I've started already over here. I already put a little bit of uh, flux around the chip and we're going to desolder the chip out. Um, sometimes you can read these chips uh, in place without removing them. Um, but it's not always possible uh, when they are connected to the motherboard, uh, to the PCB, is that there's a possibility of the reading uh, to be corrupted and it, sometimes it doesn't worth the risk. So I'm going to actually remove the chip and we're going to read it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to remove the chip is remove any excess of solder from these pins. Okay, so we cleaned the legs, you, you're not going to be able probably to see it very well, but we remove any excess of solder away from the pins. And what we're going to do next, obviously, is just with the, the, the air gun, with the hot air gun, we're going to Take it out. The problem in this case is that the chip is actually glued underneath. There's and usually it's very difficult to pop them out. So we'll see how it goes. That's it. A little bit of patience. A bit of patience, we get out, as you can probably see from there. I really hope you can see that we removed the chip now. And um, I mentioned this in the past, uh, always make sure you know the orientation of the chip. Uh, I usually uh, look at the letters and I put the letters facing my, my way and then I just put a mark somewhere so I know the orientation. Okay, so the chip is removed. We're gonna clean the PCB now get rid of any excess of any excess of uh, solder that still sits on the PCB
Remove this glue as well. Okay. Clean the board. And it looks good to me. Okay, so the step now is going to be clean this chip as well. Side. So we'll check the pins, the legs. There's no. Make sure there's nothing there that's going to prevent the chip from being read properly. And the way I usually do is just hold the pin on my hand and whether they're soldering higher on this, you can do it differently, I just touch very gentle the pads, the bottom of these earlier legs, just to make sure they have nothing there. And then I use this alcohol to then just to make sure we clean any residues. I might be on the, on the chip, and that's it. Okay, next step is going to be read the chip. So, chip is here. And, uh, so this is the chip that contains, as I said already, it's the chip that contains the immobilizer we want. Okay, so this is the ECU, the chip still in there, and this is the ECU, that is the the donor ECU, if you want to put it like that, is the donator. Is the, the, the issue that's going to be reutilized. And there's the issue that has the immobilizer that we don't need. Because it's from the donor car. So this is the one that contains the good immobilizer system. That we want to copy into this ECU here. Okay, so I'm going to use Xprog to read the chip. I'm going to use Xprog. And uh, first thing we do is place the chip in this little adapter. Uh, if you don't have this adapter, you usually have something like this, where where you can actually solder the chip and then desolder again. But I I tend to avoid to keep soldering the solder. Uh, I just use this. Uh, I just use these adapters, spring loaded, just put the chip in there, you press down, focus, you press down, you put the chip in there, you release, and that holds the legs off the chip. Okay, so let's gonna put in there, plug it in, and let's gonna read the chip. Okay, so the chip is now in place. Focus. Okay, so the chip is now in place. It's connected to Xprog. And uh, what we're going to do now is... Yeah, go into... Select our... Chip. So the device we want is a serial EP ROM, is an ST, and is a ST95P08. Press OK, and we press read. Okay. So here is the data of the immobilizer system that we need. Just up to the line 230 or 220 right there the rest of the chip I believe is empty yes it is as you can see there's nothing else right until the bottom is completely empty so it's only until there but obviously we're gonna copy the whole chip 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to save a copy of this uh, dump. We're going to save a copy and we're going to remove the other chip and then copy this into the next chip. Okay, so the second chip uh, is now here. So there's one here, the other one is there. So I removed it already from the second uh, from the second ECU. As you can see, they are both without the chip. And um, I've made a copy of both. And um, this chip here now, so this is the chip that contains the mobilizer we want. This is the chip that contains the mobilizer that we don't need anymore. So all I need to do now is copy the contents of this chip into this chip here. So obviously the contents are here, is the backup we made at the start, when uh, I've shown you first reading the, the chip. And uh, all we're going to do now is, rather than red, we're going to press right. I've made a backup of that chip already. I'm going to try to show you. Let's just going to read it again. So you can see there's difference on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but for example the first line, so the one at the back, so the one at the back is the original, the one we need, and it starts with these numbers there, and it says 4846 or 26, as you can see the one we just read, there's difference, and if you start to look, I'm going to push them to the sides, if you want to pause the video and look for the difference, you can easily see the difference. Okay. So all we're going to do now is, as I said, is, no, it saves, is copy this or load this into the chip and let's going to press right. Yes, I want. And he's writing. It's a very quick process, as you can see. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to press that button that says verify. And what the program is going to do is compare what is on the chip with what is on this file. And it came up with no errors. I can even do it by, just for you to, look, to see, I can open another Sorry guys, I can open another file here and read the chip again and you're going to see they're going to be exactly the same. As you can see there now, if you want to pause the video and see that they are exactly the same. So that's how you copy the mobilizer system on these EDCs, on these Bosch's and all I'm going to do now is just solder the chips back into the ECUs. doesn't really matter which one goes where because they are now uh, identical, so it doesn't matter now. So I'm just going to solder them back on in, onto the PCB, close the ECUs and uh, job done. And that's it guys, so one ECU is already closed, the other one just to show you so is the chip is soldered back into the PCB. Um, and I give it clean. So we're now going to put the covers back on. When you open this ECU, the silicone around, as you lift it, it forms a kind of a, a film. So all you need to do is be very careful and start to cut the film. So that creates a kind of a line on both sides as you split the ECU. So when I put it back on, I don't need to put any more... Um, um, silicone, the one that was there, actually is going to seal everything back on. So that's it, put the screws back on and um, and this is how you copy uh, or clone wherever you want to put it across, um, how you clone or copy the immobilizer of um, Bosch EDC 15 C2. Guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed the video, hope there's some useful useful information on it um hope you enjoy it and like always uh, guys thank you for watching